Noah and DK and Karen and Jay The power group in the far away uh, Things are getting crazy, there's a lot going on A cactus to fry set us off of the bomb The time is ticking down, they've only got two hours If it goes off, there'll be nothing but flowers They say no one dies in the far away But there are things that you can't come back from Like if someone placed a bomb inside a mountain Blew that whole thing the sky high Why? Then get to stir fry Why? They rush off to warn everyone that they can And they run across those dead robotic trash cans They brought cactus with them and he can't stop laughing Those bots were recyclers and they could have been just a thing They can create energy from anything at all Like a ticking time bomb that could kill them all Mistakes were made in the far away Sometimes things just don't go your way Who am I to criticize a child? But there are consequences for roboticide Why? 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 A back on track to warn everyone around But some dinosaurs showed up and they're standing their ground They look real hungry, I don't think they want to talk Do they know that the power group is kind of on a clock? If there's not enough, they'll have to rely on their wits As everyone's powers seem to be on the fritz And Noah tries to mind control, but it's not working great DK tries to get hard, but ends up a lightweight Karen tries to summon a sum of her friends Oh, while he flips her off, so unstick him, she depends And Jay just smiles and says, let's see what happens But nothing happens, DK sees a dinosaur, clock Aaron and cactus so with his altered ends for he goes to stomp that raptor But the dino deftly dodges and he hits cactus head instead Blood and guts everywhere, that troll is super dead Here lies cactus to fry He fucking sucks and now he's gone Rest in peace you fucking asshole There's a bomb, there's a bomb But no one seems to care The whole troll is with a vacant stare Maybe the eternal night can get them all in line He says no one can leave because they're on deadline What could be of more important than not getting blown up? Turns out that he's not top dog, there's a higher up The eternal night's no saint, but they thought him at least brave Turns out that he's terrified of the big boss death grave A synthetic being full of nanas most foreboding He might be the only one to stop the bomb exploding When the power group arrives at Deathglaive's house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. When from behind the bar there arose such a clatter, everyone sprang to see what was the matter. In a red suit and white beard appeared a small knave, and they knew in a moment it must be Deathglaive. Well, he offers them no gifts, but says, Oh, what if you brought them? They offer him away, a back to reality. They tell him about Livy as she promised to come back. Eternal night corroborates that what they say is fact. DK is still talking when Deathglaive agrees to help him out. Noah enters DK's mind and tells him to cut it out. Noah and DK, the rest fades away. No one else in the whole far away. The moment they share, so pure and intimate. Nothing at all could possibly ruin it. And Noah tells DK that his mind is moist and damp. And DK swears he shamrows it until he gets a cramp. Well, back to the mountain to disarm the bomb. A well-preserved second body is what that grave pops on. He uses it to eat that bomb like it's nothing more than penis. I was sure that thing would blow, but they still have 13 minutes. The light starts to flicker, and that grave grows in size. The ground trembles and we see his glowing eyes. That freshly amped up robot offers them a nanite power up. DK's rightly skeptical, will he have to give his powers up? But Jay accepts the bargain, cause he thinks he's on the level. Maybe read the fine print when you're dealing with the devil. The group all beg for Jay to stop, but he ignores their pleas. Guess he's never read Faust or even seen damn Yankees. A Jay won't have a single desire. His side powers might adjust expire. her. He feels powerful, but is he in control? The toss that character she time to re-roll. A whole new day, a whole new J. Well, that drive has one purpose, to kill Gunda Chambers. They know that she's PRS, and that makes her dangerous, but they do not know. Or seem to have a hunch, 
Captain C and Livy, our old pals from Hashtag Team Dick Punch. Well, Livy's coming back tomorrow, but that glaive's gonna cause us sorrow. Hope she still wants to help the group out, but when they're with someone who wants to take a friend out, let's see what happens to the power.